I've just started my first job straight after sixth form and I recently got the job at my old high school as a computer intern on the top floor of the main block. The top floor is where the history and the geography lessons take place and my office, which is the IT room, is also on the same corridor. I got the job because two of my old computer science teachers flat out adored me and I could actually consider them as good friends, not just teacher figures. So they all helped tremendously in me getting this job. It's all been great until something that happened a few weeks ago. My co-worker Jason wasn't in the office at that time because he was on his break. I was bored at work, daydreaming until the intruder alarm went off. There wasn't much that I could do other than turn off the lights and get under the table because surprisingly, as nice as this little office was, it didn't have an actual door lock to it so literally anyone can open the door. So for my own safety, I turned off all the lights in the office, including my computer screen and got under the desk. I kept my phone with me texting Jason but he wouldn't respond. I sat down there in the dark on my phone for about 20 minutes, waiting for the alarm to stop so I could resume working. I had no idea on what was going on. I couldn't hear what was happening downstairs from here, but I was not allowed to make any calls or make any noise until the lockdown was over. Then, the sound of the front door opening echoed down the corridor into my office. I sat up properly wondering if I should call out Jason. I was eager to get some info from them. Someone then came walking fast down the corridor and their footsteps were approaching my office. Somebody entered the office but did not turn on the lights. There was just silence. I can't even describe the fear I was experiencing. I felt like if I made one sudden noise I'd be finished. Suddenly, my phone dinged as I got a text message. I felt my entire world shrivel up and die at that one moment as I covered my face in fear. First chefs then moved closer to me until I finally dove out from under the desk in capitulation begging whoever it was not to do anything and just then someone grabbed my arm and pulled me up. It was some random guy that I've never seen before. Oh, it's okay. I'm just down here hiding with you. What's going on downstairs? He kind of ignored my question and asked me. Is there another exit down there? Now, the only exit we have is from the door which you came from. Oh, I don't remember this being here. Before anything else, I asked him, Wait, who are you? I've never seen you around. There was a brief moment of silence before he started to explain. I just came in for my son's behavioural meeting. And on the way, a teacher just told me to hide and disappeared. After his explanation, I checked my phone and saw the text I received from Jason which said Haynes, this is actually real. Some guy sneaked into our school. He's armed and he looked like he was trying to find someone. I was on my way back to the office and that's when the alarm went off. He was wearing a black hoodie and a face covering. Whatever you do, don't make any noise. I was about to reread that text out loud to the guy until I realised the hoodie. I looked up in fear and felt my heart sink. He must have came in my office to take his hoodie and face covering off to get away with it. The guy seemed to catch up to my suspicious stare. Panicking, all I could think about doing was run for the door, but as I was about to... The guy th 
thankfully missed the hit and as I was running, his scream echoed through the whole corridor. But as I made it outside, the school safeguarding team were by my office door and minutes later, the police arrived. Thankfully, the man couldn't find whoever he was looking for and no one in the school was harmed. More good news, my office doors have been checked and fitted with an actual working lock for future emergency. I want to really thank the team who put this together. These are a great bunch of students who've worked incredibly hard to put together that drama that has really helped you understand what some of the issues are around the risk of intruders in schools. Because our family are schools and specifically within Cardinal Newman School, we take great care to rehearse and, and get ready for any kind of eventuality. And we're really confident that we've got great procedures in place. And in fact, the, what you saw in there was a, a, a showcasing really of that kind of response that we would want to see. These are serious issues and they are live issues that take place in schools all over the country. And say so I'm really proud of the team that have worked very hard to pull this drama together and, and have really shone a light on something that, that is potentially quite serious. What I think anyone watching this can be reassured by though is that there is a team of dedicated professionals who work with the young people in our family of schools, not just Carbon Newman, but schools all over the country, to actually respond to and understand those threats and understand the danger that is potentially there around intruders. Please God that you know none of our schools, any of the schools across the country ever have to experience things like that. But like anything in life, it's always good to be prepared. So well done again to the team and thank you for all the work that you've done towards this.